entering the arena tonight, hoping to win £5,000 for their chosen charities. Four of the greatest athletes this country's ever seen. They think they've come for a nice day out. I'm just going to have a go. It's all good fun. It's like a little puppy, that face. It's like I'm going into the ring now. It's crazy. Bring it on. But the gladiators have got other ideas. I'm taking it out. You haven't seen Ruff yet. She mashed me up. I'm not a nice cat. Get ready for Gladiators, Battle of the Athletes. I hate her every second. Like, <laughs> Have you ever seen anything like, like that? to end all contests. Four British sporting superstars have come here into Wolf's Lair to go up against these superhuman gladiators. Oh, yes. So, let's not wait any longer. Please give a huge welcome to the 16 men and women with extraterrestrial toughness. It's the gladiators! It's Atlas! Amazon! Tornado! Sparta! Panther! Warrior! Enigma! Predator! Cyclone! Siren! Oblivion! Inferno! And Gladiator Guru Ball! They are seriously scary, but luckily I have the gorgeous Caroline Black there to hold my hand. Caroline, how are you? Good. I'll hold your hand any time. Thank you very much, Caroline. You excited about this show? It should I am. be great. Our gladiators have got their work hard today, I'm telling you. So let's meet the four sporting heroes here to give the gladiators the game of their lives. It's Karen Pickering, Kelly Smith, Kieran Bracken, and Olympic gold medalist James DeGal. Tell you, we've got gold medalists, world champions, international captains, but let me tell you something, they are looking confident. They ain't seen nothing Absolutely yet. Okay, confident. tonight our four sporting superstars are taking on the gladiators for a good cause. The two winners will each take home £5,000 for their chosen charity. Let's meet the first of our female sports stars tonight. It's world champion swimmer Karen Pickering. World, 14 European and 13 Commonwealth medals. Gladiators get ready to take a dive. I'm Karen Pickering, former world and Commonwealth champion swimmer. I started swimming when I was about five years old. I was diagnosed with asthma and the doctor said it would be good for my lungs. There are two moments in my career that stand out. I was the first British woman to ever win a world title in the pool. And then in two Commonwealth Games in Manchester, I got two gold medals. My chosen charity, if I win Gladiators, is Asthma UK. My worst event is definitely the wall. I don't have the nails. Gladiators, prepare to have that sinking feeling, because tonight you'll be going in the water, not me. Hey, Karen, first I want to say it's an absolute honour and pleasure to have you on the show. How's it feel to be here? Very exciting, a bit nervous, uh, but yeah, definitely most of all excited. And what about, like, the nerves here? When I'm swimming, I know what I'm doing, and it's just about 
at the anticipation of how, what yeah. sort of result I'm going to do when here, when it's just completely outside a comfort zone, I have no idea what's going to happen, so I just don't want to make a fool of myself. OK, what about news? It's for you. You're facing Siren. i got to say, she has got all the moves, Karen. You bothered about going up against Siren? To be honest, I think any gladiator is going to be tough on, on Hang Tough, so I'm not fussed which one it is. I'm just going to have a go. Let's have a look at her figures. If you want to hang around with this siren, Karen, get ready to be alarmed. Contender! Ready? Well, Karen might be used to hanging around the pool. Gladiator! Ready? But she's probably never faced an opponent in a swimsuit like that before. Three, two, one! 60 seconds to get across to the other platform for a full 10 points. Five points for Karen if she can make it to the red scoring zone and hang on in there. She really needs to get some momentum going here. Well, that's exactly what can happen. Siren onto her. Karen's in trouble. Siren's struggling to take her down, though. These world-class athletes won't go without a fight tonight. But down she goes. Siren just too strong for Karen. She hung in there for my glad was better. Wolf is happy with a brave effort from Karen, proving it won't be easy for the gladiators tonight. 21 seconds there, good effort. What happened? You kind of slipped on it there. What happened? Yeah, I got the first one OK, and then I went to look for the next one, and I just kind of mistimed it, so I wasn't swinging. And you was holding on and wriggling. It looked great. <laughs> Man, she didn't half wriggle when she was on there. I was trying so hard to hang on, but, oh, my God, that's so hard. I mean, I thought that she'd be quick, but she was so fast. Unlucky, Karen. No points, but, hey, we'll see how it goes. Now, let's meet our second female sports star. It's England football captain Kelly Smith. Get ready for a lady who knows how to kick and who's prepared to shoot first. My name is Kelly Smith. I play for Arsenal Ladies and England Ladies football team. I've been playing football pretty much my whole life, from the age of six. As soon as I cross that white line and go onto the pitch, I'm a different person. It just brings out the best in me. My greatest sporting moments representing England in the World Cup. I scored four goals at the tournament. Best feeling ever. If I win gladiators, I would give my money to the Teenage Cancer Trust. I think my best events are probably going to be Powerball. I'm quite quick and agile, as I would be on the pitch, ducking and diving, trying to beat the defenders. Gladiators, there's going to be no extra time tonight, because I'm going to play you off the park. So, Kells, how are you doing? Great to see you. You too, how are you doing? I'm really good, Kells. So tell me, Gladiators, big Gladiators fan? Yeah, I love the Gladiators. I always used to watch it growing up as a kid, every Saturday night, staying in and always wanting to be on the show, so I made up that I'm here tonight. So how's it feel? Because you played in the World Cup and now you're on here. The nerves, obviously, what it's like playing in the World Cup. And what about the nerves here at Gladiators and facing our Gladiators? They're not too um, bad at the moment until I step up on that podium and look at Battle Axe. Um, she's a big, scary lady, so um, hopefully I can stay on and get some points, though. OK, you said it well. You are facing the brute force of Battle Axe. OK. What about that? Feeling confident about that? Yeah, definitely. Ready to okay. go. <laughs> <laughs> OK, best of luck. You get yourself ready whilst we take a look at her numbers. Hope you've brought your shin pads, Kelly. This gladiatorial defender is ready to attack. Contender! Ready! 76 England caps, 30 international goals, FIFA World Player of the Year and MBE. Gladiator! Ready! Now, Battle Axe. Three, two, one. So with Karen scoring zero, it's a great chance for Kelly to take an early lead. Oh, and what a swing. She's already halfway across. Battle Axe is closing in. And now Kelly's twisted. She's in all sorts of trouble. Battle Axe onto her. But Kelly breaks free. Battle Axe swinging by one arm. Kelly makes a move down the side. Brilliant stuff. Desperately trying to keep away from Battle Axe, who's now got a firm grip on Kelly's shirt. Kelly knows that if Battle Axe can get her legs around her, the weight difference means she won't stand a chance. Kelly putting up a great fight here, though. Can she hold on? Great determination from this world-class performer. She's hanging on in there. Can she manage to break away? Battle Axe is all over her now. Surely there's an ending in sight, and there is. It's all over us. Down she goes. You get him on the hook, reel him in. Exactly what she did. A great effort, but in the end, Kelly just couldn't find a way past Battle Axe. How'd you find out? You seem to be going towards her. I know, I couldn't uh, change direction. I couldn't actually get enough momentum to find another ring. 
I just spun around us, not what how it went in training, and then I was just trying to keep my legs up high so she couldn't actually grab onto me. And then I couldn't reach for another ring, and then I just went right back into her path. I don't know, it was hard. <laughs> so luck, but let's take a look at the girls' scores after the first event. Champion swimmer Karen yet to take off her armbands. England striker Kelly still to leave the changing room. Both girls on zero. The ladies have got tonight's show off to a wet and wild start. Next up after the break, Kieran Bracken and James DeGale will be facing the Kings of Swing, Atlas and the Big O. Welcome back to Gladiators! Tonight, it's the battle of the athletes. Four of Britain's top sports stars have come to test their strength against our mean and muscular gladiators. Before the break, we saw the girls get wet on Hang Tough. Next, it's the boys. And first up, it's England International Rugby Union player, Kieran Bracken. Gladiators beware. This contender's ready for a ruck. My name's Kieran Bracken. I'm a former international rugby player for England and Saracens. Played for England for 10 years. I love the sport. The greatest sporting moment has to be winning the World Cup in 2003. And the reaction we got back in the country was amazing. The charity I'm hoping to win money for is Noah's Ark, who would do a lot for kids in hospice care. I'd say my strongest game, probably the Powerball, but I think they might team up on me. I'm really looking forward to take on these gladiators.